Hello everyone, and we go on our educational videos series. The next couple of videos will be dedicated to IFC SDK, and today's video will provide an overview of the IFC database structure. IFC database structure is the representation of the IFC step physical file. And if we take an IFC file and open it in a text editor, we can see the following structure. The root element that wraps all the data in the file is ISO 10303.21. This ISO defines the encoding mechanism for representing data. Inside this block, we have two blocks, header and data. Header block may be accessed through get header section method, and to get access to a data block and it Date inside it, we need to call get model method of the IFC SDK API. As you see, header section contains the following options file description, file name, and IFC file schema. Now, let us have a look at the data section. As you see, data section is represented as a list of brackets. An important point to pay attention to. Brackets may reference other records, thus forming an interconnected structure. So, if we need to obtain some data from the data section, after call of the getModel method, we can just iterate through this list of records, obtaining the necessary values and data. The records contain the following information. Handle, entity name, and a block of attributes values. And all this information is available through IFC SDK API. And now, as a short self-check, the key elements and produced today. The key parts of the IFC database, header section and model data. Header section contains the key attributes of the file, while model data contains a list of records that represent the data of the model entities. And that's all for today's video. In the next video, we'll show you a short demo where we'll address the IFC database elements. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.